At the tender age of 12, she weighs nearly 200 pounds. She is overweight due to suffering from an eating disorder. For her final meal before departure, Amanda's mother is letting her eat whatever she wants until she feels sick. I don't get home until 6 o'clock, so she's home alone. She'll eat a ramen noodles or cereal before I even get home, because she's home by herself for three hours before I even get home. And then I make dinner. She is going to be 13 years old. She's interested in boys. Unfortunately, she thinks nobody's interested in her because of the way she looks. It's a confidence boost. That's what it is. Before I hope she gets good habits, I get good habits, and go forward. I mean. Teased by her classmates, Amanda has gradually become withdrawn. In the United States, over half of all overweight children are bullied at school. I really don't want to stay in a body like this forever. Oh my goodness, there's a spider on my window. I've developed a little bit of depression. And I really don't want to deal with that anymore. And I don't really have enough money to afford to go to like a psychiatrist or something to see if I really do have it. <coughs> but I like looked up the symptoms and I have most of them. Flat emotions, yeah. either not eating or overeating. And it's just like, well, it didn't help at all. In Shreveport, Louisiana, meet 12-year-old Jay Lynn. It was her own decision to sign up for camp. She weighs 265 pounds, and she is constantly gaining weight. This is the first time I have used what is this? That's the real stuff from McDonald's I usually get. Her mother has agreed to enroll her because she feels responsible. Junk food has taken over their daily meals. Dry salads are horrible. <laughs> Jalen's mother is morbidly obese. She suffers from severe breathing problems and high blood pressure. I'm not comfortable sitting in those chairs because of my weight and um, so those chairs are really shaky anyway, so I don't want to have any accidents or anything like that. It's extremely heavy. And no one really addressed it. I want her to know that it's more to life, it's more solutions than food. Jay Lynn has a genetic predisposition to obesity, but she also suffers from binge eating, and an obese teenager has an 80% chance of remaining obese as she grows up if nothing is done. I think it would maintain this color. I don't think you should go back to her again. Well, the thing that In Phoenix, Arizona, young Xander is getting ready to leave. I'm proud of you. Of course, I'm gonna do great. I'm proud of you. Since childhood, Xander has dreamed of being an NFL player. But sadly, because he is overweight, he has never even made his football team. At school, everyone makes fun of him. At just 12 years old, his dreams have been shattered. To combat his low mood, his mother, Alicia, signed him up for camp. How much do you think that weighs? Pounds. How many? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Are you going to be able to carry that? Uh, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Through the airport? Yes. How do you feel about living under? Ah, uh, nauseous. Why? I don't know. <laughs> don't. How do you feel about living? God, I guess. My weight goal, 110. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to lose enough pounds to, get, to be 110. Do you know, do you mind saying how much you weigh now? Well, I'm 141. I think did. losing weight is going to change for you? A lot. Like? Everything. Elaborate, please. Uh, football. You ready for this? Yeah. No. 
Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs>